I've been with Jim Schutz actually talking about the hybrid and alternative choice, but I wanted to add a segment here. Jim Schutz with Keller Williams Realty, who does some great uh, offers for the hybrid and alternative choice as far as particular areas of the process that you can hire Jim's services, you know, and use him to, to complete those processes for you. And one of them is negotiating the contract, the subject that we're talking about in this section of the FISBO resource. So Jim, uh, tell me how do you, how do you handle a, a offer from somebody and what do you do if the price isn't right or they're asking for too much or how, do, how does the back and forth go and how do you handle that? Uh, the way I handle it, we'll go over the contract and you know it's a fairly lengthy contract, it's a binding contract so both parties need to understand that it's a legal document and it has some very serious consequences. Um, I always go over the contract and offer um, with my clients in, in, in enough detail so that they understand everything that's going on in there. Um, and it's not only price, there may be some timing issues, there may be some funding issues, uh, those types of things. And just make sure that the seller understands the offer uh, and then can make an intelligent decision. Um, if the price is not correct, if the timing is not correct, if there are other problems, then what we would have to do is go and do a counter offer, which is basically an addendum to the contract, to the initial contract, uh, which supersedes uh, the previous contract, and we can negotiate that way. But it and it's a formal process. It has to be all on writing, all on paper, um, in a counter proposal form. Okay, good. Is there a time generally that is an acceptable time for a home to close? Or is it really based on what the seller needs to do or the buyer? How does, how does that work out? Well, like we say in real estate, everything is negotiable. Um, I've closed deals in as fast as seven days, um, and that's not typical. Uh, usually there are enough steps in the process with title work, inspections, uh, repairs, any repairs that needs to be made, and then also financing the purchase is always a big one. Uh, so I would count on at least six weeks, somewhere in that vicinity, on the, on the short end to get a sale closed from contract to close. And we're, we're recording this in April of 2009, and the interest rates have been being forced down by the Fed and the market, so right now there's a big refinance boom going on, so Jim made a good point. Uh, there is quite a bit of backup many times in the case of mortgages. Um, if you work with particular lenders, you'll get it done a little quicker, so call me about that. But uh, it is something you need to consider. If, if the buyer is not paying cash, then he, they've got to go through a financing process. And again, that's a good reason why before you get into the negotiating contract portion, if you know ahead of time as part of that offer that this person is pre-approved and ready to go, that will definitely smooth the process up. It's important for the seller of the home to also be looking at their time frame. Do, have you already found another home? What do you, you know, are you going to have contingencies? What are you going to do on that end? So if you have any questions on that, feel free to give Jim a call. Absolutely. Jim, what's the best number for people to reach you at? The best number is my cell phone, and that's 303-931-1870. Okay, great. Or you can call me at 720-365-9550, and either one of us can help you with that question.